All right, my friends, let's get started in easy pose. We call it easy pose because it's pretty easy and your legs are crossed, which feels pretty good. And so I have a question of the day for you and you can talk to the person that you're doing yoga with at your house, or you can just think of the answer in your own brain. And my question is, if you were gonna plant a garden, it could be a vegetable garden, a fruit garden, a flower garden, a candy garden, what would you plant in your garden? So I want you to think about that answer because today we're gonna to be planting a yoga garden and doing lots and lots of poses to do some planting because it's springtime and this is the time of year where people in the Northern hemisphere where we live start planting. So when you have your answer, put your hands on your head like this. When you know what you would plant in your yoga garden, put your hands on your head. There we go. Nice, so I want you to keep that in your head. So keep that idea of what you would plant in your yoga garden, whether it's a fruit, a vegetable, flower, or maybe it's something kind of silly. I want you to keep that in your brain. You're gonna stay crisscross. I'm gonna move a little bit closer so you can see me because we're gonna do some breathing. Remember I asked you if you had your hands? You're gonna hold up your hand like this, just one hand, and make your fingers really big. You're gonna take your other hand and show me your pointer finger. We're gonna trace our hand as we breathe. So I'm gonna trace here, I'm gonna start by my pinky finger. I'm gonna trace my hand up, breathe in, and then go down the inside and breathe out. And I start again on this side, on my ring finger, in and I breathe and move up, out, breathe out and move down. So I want you to try in, as you go up, breathe out, as you go down, in and out, in and out. Now when you get to the other side, I want you to turn your hand around so you can see it and start again, starting on the thumb side. So when I go up my finger, I breathe in and down, I breathe out, in, 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 out, in, and out. So this is called five finger breathing. And it's a cool thing because you always have your fingers with you, your hands with you. And if you're ever feeling anxious or overwhelmed or nervous, or you just need to slow down your brain a little, you can practice five finger breathing. So you always have your hands with you so you can practice that there. I'm gonna go back to my yoga mat because now that we've done some breathing, we're ready to get moving. So you're gonna stand up with me, stand all the way up. There we go, good work. And you're gonna do what I do and say what I say. Are you ready? Okay. Reach up high, reach for the sky. Dive down low, tickle your toes. Step one foot back, step two plank. That's a push up. Lower down, belly on the ground. Be a snake. Good job. Dog pose, rise to dog. Good job. Wiggle your tail, the other as well. Lift up your legs, give them a shake. Jump like a frog, look at your hands, bend your knees and jump. Nice, wiggle your toes, tickle, tickle. Reach up high, mountain pose, hands in front of your chest. Excellent work. Here we go, <laughs> turn on some more lights. Let's do it again. This time, I'm gonna make a silly sound instead of saying the words of our yoga poses. Are you ready to try that? Let's do it. Ready? You're gonna make the same silly sound I do. Meep Meep beep. Oh, 
Ribbit. Yeah. Ah. Nice work. That can be fun to make silly sounds. The next round, we're going to do silent. So if you forget the order of the poses, you can look at me, OK? I'm not going to say any words, so you've got to really focus, OK? Let's start. Great job. Awesome work. Now, I was telling you that we are planting a yoga garden. We're going to come down to the floor. So the first thing we do when we plant a garden, a real garden or a pretend garden, is we have to get all of the rocks out of the way. So we're going to turn. I'm going to turn so you can see me. You stay facing forward so you don't bump into anyone you're doing yoga with. But we're going to make our body small and round like a rock. See how I hug my legs in tight? I'm gonna make my back really round and my head tucks in like a turtle so I can roll and come back up. Can you do that? Let's try, roll and come back up. Keep your chin to your chest so you don't bonk your head. Roll and come back up. Can you stop and balance on your bottom? Roll. Come back up. Maybe try hiding your hands behind your knees. Roll and kick. Come all the way up. Good. This time we stay down. Whoop. Good. And we give ourselves a big hug. Chin up. Lift your chin and head up. And we roll to one side. Roll all those rocks out of the way. Roll to the other side. Good job. Roll up one more time. Whoa. Nice work. Now we have to cut the grass. We have to clear the land to make room for planting all those seeds. Put your hands behind you and sit up really tall and your feet down on your yoga mat. Yeah, you got it. So we sit up tall and now we pretend our feet are a lawnmower cutting all the grass. You have to lean back a little bit and kick, kick, kick. There you go. Do you feel your tummy working? Okay, if you're feeling strong, can you cut with your arms too? See how I'm balancing? You try. Cut, cut, cut all that grass. Keep going. Five, four, keep cutting. Three, two, and one. Whew. Cutting grass is a lot of work. We have one more kind of big job to do to get the land ready to plant our yoga seeds. Do you still remember? what you decided you would plant in your yoga garden. We have to plow the earth. That means we use a machine to move through the earth to lift it up and make room for our seeds. So for this pose, we have to lay down on our backs. Very carefully we lay down. And we lift our legs up to the ceiling. Now this is where it gets a little tricky and we have to make sure we only move in a way that feels good in our body. See if you can push your arms down and lift your legs up. Can you lift them up? Can you put your feet behind you? Whoa! That's called plow pose. If that doesn't feel good, you can just practice with your feet up to the sky. If you want to try again, we put our hands down. We push into the floor with our arms and hands. We lift our bottom up and then put our feet over our head like a plow. Good try. Let's come out of plow pose. Woo! That sometimes can make you feel a little dizzy. That's okay. Just take a big breath in and a slow breath out. Whenever we feel a little dizzy, taking slow, deep breaths, can help us feel a bit more calm. 
So we've cleared the rocks, we've cleared the grass, we've plowed the earth, now we're ready to plant those seeds. So let's stand up tall and put on some rubber boots for planting. Ready? Try not to wobble, lift up one foot, put that boot on, good. Now lift up the other, put that boot on, put it back down, nice. Now make your legs nice and wide in your boots because we're gonna squat down to plant our seeds in the ground. So let's reach up and get our seeds, whatever you decided to plant in your garden, candy or vegetables, and put it in the ground. Maybe you're planting fruits or flowers, put it in the ground and give it a nice pat down, good. And now we are gonna turn in to those seeds. Put your knees down on the ground. Put your bottom by your feet. This is called child's pose. Reach your arms forward and hide your head in between your arms like a seed underground. Think, 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 what kind of seed are you? Imagine yourself as that little tiny seed. Everything big and tall from plants to flowers started out with a teeny tiny seed. Seeds need rain and sunshine to grow. So tap your fingers. Can you tap? There you go. Good job. Tap your fingers to make the sound of the rain. And stop. Imagine you can feel the warm sunshine on your back. The sunlight helps our seeds start to grow. First, it sprouts just a little bit. Lift up onto your hands and knees. Good job. Then our seed starts to sprout and grow a little bit more. Reach up one arm, take a big stretch. Yes, good. Reach up to that sunshine. And let's stretch on the other side, right? Your other root has to pop up out of the ground. Nice, come back down. Can you lift up one leg to pop out of the ground? Yeah, there you go, you got it. It's a little tricky, but you can do tricky things. Lift that foot up, nice, good. Our seed starts to grow even taller. Stand on your knees, good. Reach your arms up and clap your hands, nice, okay. So the seeds start out as little sprouts and they grow tall, tall, tall. Can you step one foot forward? This is called a kneeling lunge. Our plant's getting taller. Can you tuck your back toes under and lift yourself up out of the dirt? Nice. Let's open up those arms really big out to the side. Good. Yes, you look great. Look at all these beautiful plants and flowers. Hands on your hips. We're gonna step forward. We're gonna take this back foot and bring it forward and reach our arms all the way up. We're so tall. Nice job. We have to do that on the other side. Let's plant another seed. Step your feet big, really big. And we come down, we plant our seeds, reach up. We have to plant lots of seeds as a gardener. Maybe you're a farmer. Pat them in the ground. Cover them up with lots of dirt. Good. Now put your knees down and your bottom down. We're going to turn into a seed again so we can do these stretches, these shapes on the other side. Hands go down. Nice. Hide your head below your arms. Let's make those raindrop sounds again. Tap, tap, tap. Maybe your rain goes one way. Your rain goes the other way. Come back to the middle. The rain stops. The sun starts to shine. And your plant starts to grow. Nice. Remember how we reached our arms up? Try it again. Pop up out of that soil. Hello, sun. <laughs> nice. Oh. Did you know lots of green plants lift up your foot? Help keep the air clean for us to breathe. So having plants in your house or your backyard or around your neighborhood is so great to help you breathe really good. 
Our plant starts to grow a little taller. We stand on our legs, our knees, reach those arms up, clap the hands together. Yeah, there you go. This is our kneeling pose. We step one foot forward. Are we ready to grow taller? This is a bit tricky. Make your tummy strong. See my back foot? I'm gonna tuck those toes under and launch up. Whoa, you might be a little wobbly, that's okay. Good. Now our arms grow big like a plant blossoming out of the earth. Nice, look at you. You're doing it, I see you. <laughs> Hands to your hips. Now we're gonna step this leg forward, ready? One, two, three, yes. Grow really, 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 really tall. And hands to your chest. Nice job. That was a really tough yoga sequence, a yoga pattern. And you did a great job. Now, there are lots of bugs and insects in a garden. You might have even noticed some more outside right now. We've had some ants around our garden. I'm trying to keep them away. Another animal I've seen around our garden in our house is a caterpillar. This pose requires lots of upper body strength. Okay, we're gonna get ready. You're gonna put your arms down, elbows on the mat. Good. Then we stretch one leg back and the other leg back. Good. <laughs> now caterpillars do a little wiggle. Can you lift your bottom up and then wiggle it down like a caterpillar? Up, push down into your elbows. Good, and down like a wiggly caterpillar. One more time, up and down like a caterpillar. Good job. That was a tough one, right? I said you needed strong arms. Let's stand up. It's another animal I've seen in my garden is a stick bug. Have you ever seen a stick bug? They look like a stick. That's why they're called that. They do something called camouflage. That means they blend in with what's around them. Stick bugs have long legs and long arms and long bodies that look like sticks. Reach down to your stick bug leg and make your arms really long and tall like a stick. Maybe you look down at your toes. Good, come back up tall like a stick bug. And let's try the other side. Reach, 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 reach. Can you keep your arms long and your legs long? Make sure I can see your face. Yeah, good. Yeah, nice. Look down at your feet. Okay, stick bugs. Now both hands go down. Push your bottom back, bend in half. Maybe your hands touch your toes or maybe your stick bugs hands touch the floor. Nice work. Can you wiggle your head no? And wiggle your head yes. Good. Nice work, stick bugs. Reach your stick bug arms out long. And can you stand up slowly? Ready? Three, two, one. Ooh, you guys have really good balance. Feet jumping. <laughs> nice. Now, another bug I see around my flowers at night is a lightning bug. Have you ever seen a lightning bug? They have like a glowy bottom. <laughs> I think they kind of look like they're dancing. So I thought we'd do a dancing pose. Stand with your feet together. Good. And one, both arms go up. Clap. Good job. Now you're going to kick up one foot, the one that's closest, and reach for it with your same arm. Can you hold on to that foot? Good. You got it. Yeah, you got it really balanced. You're, you're going to get there. Now you can stay here, or can you kick your leg back and reach your arm forward? If you're feeling a little wobbly, I'm gonna tell you a trick. If there's something you can hold on to, like a countertop or a couch, like I have here, watch this. Hold on to my foot and I can reach and hold on to something for balance. You can even use the person who you're doing yoga with to balance. You can give each other a high five. So let's pretend I have a friend here I can high five the wall or my friend to hold my pose. Yeah, and try it on both sides. You may discover as you do your yoga experiments 
one leg is a little bit stronger balancing than the other. So give it a try a few times. If you are wobbly or a little unbalanced, that's okay. That's why we do yoga to get stronger. So arms up. We kick one foot up behind us. Hold on tight. And maybe you just stay here. Maybe you reach forward. Nice. Woo. That was great. Did you do both sides? In yoga, we always want to make sure we do our poses on the right and left side. We're going to come down to our bottom because this is an insect you might even be seeing in your houses right now because they come inside to get out of the rain. You're going to put your feet down and put your hands down and lift your bottom up. I like to call this my spider pose. Let's see, can you crawl towards me? And go back, there you go, Lucy. Give it a try, Sonia. Yeah, let's do it again. Can you crawl like a spider? Hello, <laughs> let me see that spider pose. Yeah, I see you. Nice, come back. Whoa. Being a spider is hard work, huh? <laughs> I've also started to notice around my garden some insects that just like to come visit the new flowers and blooms. One of those is a dragonfly and they have really long bodies. So stretch your legs out as wide as you can. These are gonna be our dragonfly wings. You might see that my legs are bent a little Yours can be bent like mine with space underneath. <laughs> or you can put your legs on flat. Totally your choice. These are our dragonfly wings. Let's reach up and put our hands on the ground, reach towards me to make our dragonfly body. There you go. Nice big stretch. You might even put your head down a little. Good. Dragonflies <clears throat> are a little bit different than butterflies. Their wings are not quite as colorful, but sometimes their bodies are really beautiful colors. Let's be the dragonfly's neighbor, the butterfly. Your feet go together. Good. And our knees are bent and pointing out like butterfly wings. Now, I heard from my friend Mick on from another school that butterflies have two sets of wings. So Mick likes to put their hands up here on their shoulders or stretch their arms out wide. So you decide, are you maybe a baby butterfly? Are you a great big one? Yeah, baby, all right. And we're gonna make circles with our elbows. So can you point your elbows in and then back out? In and then back out. If you have your arms out big, you can make circles big hands in and big hands out. Just make sure you don't bump into anyone sitting next to you. We always want to use nice hands and keep ourselves and our neighbors safe. Good. Maybe try touching your shoulders if you didn't yet. So elbows in and then circle elbows out. Good. One more time. Elbows in and out. Nice. Awesome. Now, I like to do this next stretch and imagine I'm a butterfly sleeping. My arms go up and then I reach forward and see if I can put my hands in front of my feet. And then maybe I put my head down a little. This is a big stretch for our butterfly legs and our butterfly back. Nice. Sit up tall. There's one more bug in my garden and this is when we hear maybe more than we see. It's a grasshopper. Close your knees. Now, it's said that grasshoppers or crickets, maybe that's what you call them where you're from, that they rub their wings together and that's what makes the chirping sound you might hear. So we are gonna move our legs kind of in the same way. So we're gonna sit with our hands behind us and you take one leg, lift it up and put it on top of the other. There you go. And then can you wiggle your leg one way? and legs the other way. This is a tough one. 
but maybe you give it a try. Yeah, good job. Let's try the other side. So our foot goes down, I lift up my leg and I put it on top of the other and I give it a little wiggle. Chirp, 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 chirp. I don't hear any crickets where I live. Maybe we'll hear them tonight. I think they mostly like to come out at nighttime. And you might know them as a nocturnal insect or bug and that means animals that only come out at night. Good, put that foot down. And guess what friends? It's time to wash up after all of our gardening our clothes, they got a little stinky, they got a little dirty. So we toss them in the washing machine, sit crisscross, ready, hands on your shoulders. We put our clothes in the washing machine and we turn it on, ready? It starts to swish our clothes clean. Can you look behind you when you twist? Good, that brings that twist all the way up to our neck. Twist, 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 good job. Now our washing machine does a little shake. We're shaking out all the water and it stops. And we have to dry our clothes. So we put our clothes in the dryer. Ready, feet down, push your clothes in the dryer and let's give our legs a shake. My legs are going up and down, yeah. Shake off your legs. Shake off your arm. Shake, 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 shake. Go to the other side. Shake, 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 shake. Shake both arms up. Shake your whole body. Can you shake it all the way down to your toes? Hold on. Nice. Whew. Those were some big stretches. I think it's time for us to enjoy all the hard work we've done. We go back out into the garden and clean clothes, of course to look at some of the flowers that are growing. The first flower we see is a lotus flower. I'm gonna move closer so you can see me. <laughs> I'm sorry if I keep on freezing. There's a lot of folks on the internet today. I appreciate your patience. I'm just seeing a note. I'm so sorry, Lucy and Calder. Ooh, I'll move a little more slowly. Hands together. We're gonna make a lotus flower. So our hands come together in front of our chest, kind of like we're clapping, good. Now this is where it gets tricky. We put our fingertips together, good. And then the back of our hands. So they're kind of hiding under there. So a lotus flower grows in the water in a pond. So let's imagine our arms are the water here is the lotus flower, our fingers. And if we say some kind words to our flower, it might bloom. So think of something really kind and nice you could say to your flower. Maybe you could say, hello, beautiful flower. I love what a bright blue color you are. Or maybe you say, good afternoon, flower. I hope you're having a great day. Once you whisper something nice to your flower, it starts to grow and lift up out of the water. Can you open up your fingers to make a flower? Good. Let's try again. So we close our hands, fingertips together, and back of our hands together. Whisper something kind to your flower. Thank you, flower. And then maybe your flower starts to grow. Nice, so this is called a mudra. That's when we do yoga with our hands. So this is one yoga mudra. Do you ever see people sitting with their hands like this on their lap? That's another hand yoga. There you go, good job. We have some more flowers to make. Next up is the Venus flytrap. Do you know that flower? Yeah, <laughs> so that flower catches bugs. So you're gonna stretch one leg out really long. The other foot touches the inside of your long leg. Then we reach both arms up and clap. Now the Venus flytrap stays open and she waits till a buzzy fly or another insect investigates, comes to look at her. And then once they fly close enough to the inside of the Venus flytrap, she snaps closed 
all her petals together to trap that bug. You try it. Hold on tight to that foot. Nice. Reach your arms back up. Let's try on the other side. Ready? Whoop. Switch it out. Nice. Make that leg really long. And we're going to try to catch that bug on this side. So remember the Venus fly trap. She stays open, open, open. She waits, waits, waits. She's very patient. When the insect or bug flies in close, she snaps closed, pushing all of her petals together to hold on to the bug. Did you get your bug? <laughs> Good work. Our last flower pose is any flower you can think of. You're gonna bring your feet together like that butterfly pose. Now we practiced this one last week. It's a toughie, but so are you. You're smart, you got this. Feet together, your hands go behind your feet like you're hiding them. You lift up your knees like butterfly wings and you sneaky crawl one hand out under your leg and the other hand out under your other leg. There you go. Now we flip our hands up to hold on to our legs. We lift up one and then the other to balance on our bottom like a flower growing out of the dirt. Yeah, there you go. If you have something to lean against, like a table or a couch, that can be helpful as you start to learn how to balance on your bottom. Keep your head up, make sure I can see you. If you fall back, try again. <laughs> Good. And come back down. Awesome work, guys. Really great. Now, we have had a lovely day of planting our yoga garden, looking at some bugs that came to visit us, washing our clothes. That's part of taking care of ourselves and our garden. And we got to observe, that means look at, some flowers that grew. But now it's time for us to take a little rest. So I want you to lie down on your back or your side or your belly and get really comfortable. So you might need to go get a pillow or a blanket, or maybe you just lay down. So really make your body comfortable. I'm gonna get closer. And I'm gonna read you a little bit of a story while you rest. So you find your comfy position, maybe you rest on the floor or the couch, and make sure your body's far away from anybody else's. We want to keep ourselves and our yoga friends safe always. All right. Nice work. Are you getting cozy? Perfect. Take your time. You might even roll up in a blanket or a yoga mat like your uh, yoga burrito, or maybe you're a yoga caterpillar rolling up in your cocoon. All right, lie your body down in a comfortable place in a comfortable shape on the floor. If you feel safe and okay to do so, you can close your eyes. Breathe slowly in through your nose, and out your mouth. Let's do that again. Breathe in slowly through your nose and out your mouth. Good. Keep breathing slowly. Now you're gonna bring your attention to different parts of your body, starting at your toes and moving all the way up to your head. This is our time in yoga class where we keep quiet and still. It's a hard thing to do. That's why we practice. As we think about each of our body parts, you're gonna tense up the muscles in that body part. So you're gonna squeeze them really hard and then let them relax until our whole body is relaxed. So now we begin. First, think about your toes. Scrunch your toes up as tight as you can. Only your toes, hold them, hold them, hold them, and then let them rest. 
Maybe you even breathe out big. Now, see if you can tense up both of your feet. Squish every muscle in your feet. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And let your feet rest. <sighs> Imagine that they are very, very heavy on the floor, like bricks. Now think about your legs, your ankles, your calves, your knees, your hips. Can you squeeze all the muscles in your legs? Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Try counting to five before you let them relax. One, two, three, four, five. Relax all the muscles in your legs. Feel your legs rest on the ground. Next, we're gonna pull our belly button in. So suck in your tummy, hold it in really tight, and relax your belly. <sighs> Let your back melt into the floor. Now, scrunch up your shoulders up to your ears. Can you squeeze and lift them up? Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And now, let them go. <sighs> Drop your shoulders away from your ears. Make your hands into really tight fists. Squeeze your fingers in. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Just like your legs, you might discover your arms come off the ground. You're squeezing your biceps and triceps and forearms and elbows. Squeeze. And now let your arms relax, let your hands relax and soften to the floor. Now close your eyes up tight. Scrunch your nose and squeeze your lips together like you're tasting a sour gummy worm. Squeeze, 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 or maybe a lemon. Squeeze everything in really tight. And then let your whole face relax. Take a big breath in your nose and breathe out your mouth. Now think about your whole body. Your whole body is relaxed and resting on the ground. If there's any part of your body that's uncomfortable or isn't very relaxed, you can tense up those muscles. You can squeeze them in really tight and then let go until you feel more relaxed. Good. Very nice. Rest here with your whole body on the ground for five. Four, three, two, one. Just wiggle your fingers. Don't move any other part of your body yet. Just wiggle those fingers. Wiggle, wiggle. And wiggle your toes like worms in the dirt. And then stretch your body long on the floor like a pencil. Reach your arms over your head, point your toes away from your fingers, get long like a spaghetti noodle. And then sit up slowly, slowly like a sloth, crisscross. Nice. Maybe you take a yawn. Ooh. Hmm. Very nice, hello, hello. <sighs> that was a good rest. <laughs> Before we say our goodbyes, let's say our mantra, our little cheer and chant that makes us feel confident and powerful and strong. You're gonna hold up your arm muscles. Maybe you give them a kiss. Mwah. Mwah. And we say, I am healthy. And you make a happy smiley face, I am happy. Cheese. <laughs> Hands on your heart. I am loved. Good. Let's do that again. Arms open up big. We say, I am healthy. I am happy. I am loved. <laughs>